Hello everyone, this is the Smiling Mammoth and welcome back to Feed the Beast on the cloud server. I have been researching, I've been researching away in Thorncraft and I've found some really really fun things. I've got to say, like, just kind of throwing stuff in, in like kind of the research bench and just seeing what turns up, it's just so fun. Um, I've got some really cool new things that I want to show you. Um, first up, this is the thing I've already shown, which is the Wand of Excavation. This is the first wand I found. So yeah, it's kind of mines away at blocks and is pretty neat. Um, then I have another wand, which is the Wand of Equal Trade, which I'm actually going to demonstrate in a minute, because I want to use it for something, because that's how you really want to kind of demonstrate something like that. Um, I found, init well initially, I found this, which is the Shovel of the Earth Mover and the Axe of the Stream while I was out looking for spawners for the Mob Grinder, which I'm also going to show you because that's all set up. So this is, yeah, this is the Shovel of the Earth Mover and the way this works is if you're using it on stuff that you'd normally use a shovel on like dirt or sand or gravel, it'll mine out a 3x3 three three area or as close to it can get. So you see like that. But it also has the very handy trick of say I get some stone I've put silk touch on my drill as well which is really really handy to have I've got to say the only thing is I need I want to upgrade it to an advanced drill which I didn't think about I don't know if it keeps the enchantment so I may lose it but either way it's still pretty cool but what I can do with the shovel of the earth mover because that was just left click digging if you shift then it just works like a normal shovel but if you right click on a block and you have the same block in your inventory it will create I think a 2 by 3 by 3 or 2 by 2 I'm not sure but create an area of that block so say you wanna I don't know fill over a hole really quickly you can just quickly throw down a bunch of blocks like instantly so that's a really handy thing to have. I don't actually have the Thorncraft kind of resources to make this yet. Like in that I've not actually researched it, I found it, but I have another one in I found two. Um the thing I'm holding at the moment, this is the axe of the stream. Um the reason they've got the names they do, basically if you look in the Thorminomicon, you can see that each one kind of has a tool associated with it. Oh I have got Shovel of the Earth Mover. Okay, so that's easy. Um so basically yeah, for each each tool, uh, each one, sorry, there's a tool associated with So you've got the Wand of Frost, Axe of the Stream, so they're both related to water. Um, Wand of Excavation, Shovel of the Earth Mover, that makes sense. Wand of Fire, Pickaxe of the Core, I've not actually got that yet. And I probably won't because I'm, my drill's a bit better. But it allows you, when you mine an ore, it gives you a chance to drop this thing called a natural ore that will. Oh, I've got an absolute crap ton of wisps now because. Um, yeah, my my flux level was up to dangerous. So that's actually quite good because when wisps form, it actually gets rid of flux. So in some ways, having a lot of wisps is kind of good. But, um, but yeah, the thing I have is the axe of the stream, and this is, um, you know, same as the shovel of the earth. Move a shift click, it works like a normal axe. But if you go on a tree and you start cutting it down, you notice I'm mining out a block but um, it's not actually mining out the block I'm hitting. What's happening is it mines out the tree from the top down. So you see all the logs are popping into my inventory. You probably kind of, if I do it from here, so it, it kind of it mines the tree well, from the bottom and the top and it puts the logs straight in your inventory, which is really handy because I can just get on the big jungle trees um, I think it works on them, but the wood, the logs on them aren't really useful for that much because a lot of recipes don't recognise them. But it's really handy to have. What you can also do is if you right-click when you're cutting down a tree, it'll go really quickly, but you do lose durability a bit more, which is the kind of disadvantage. Um, those are the tools. This thing, this thing I've got here, this is the most useful thing I've researched so far. And it's a portable hole. 
basically if you place it on a surface so you just right click it will kind of tunnel through so say these blocks here I've been flying over this for ages and you know it's it's fine it's an entrance mobs can still get in what I can do with the portable hole is just right click hole and it stays there for a few seconds and then the blocks will just come back as normal now the best thing about it is there is kind of a limit it says if if I do something so if I just go straight down it doesn't have enough charge because obviously I'm trying to tunnel through the entire earth but if I do it here that's about the limit but I can just tunnel straight through the volcano it's just so cool and then back to normal so I've just been using it as shortcuts like oh I want to get into the base do I bing oh that's not gone so well actually but and this is going to kill me in it when it Yeah, but <laughs> you get the idea. So um, that one wasn't so good. I should probably fill this in actually to prevent that happening in future. Um, but that's what was supposed to happen. Um, also, boots of the traveller—they're quite handy. They um, they allow you to run faster. So you might notice just walking. I'm actually a little bit faster, um, and you can jump. So if I turn the jetpack off, I can actually jump and hit pretty much hit the ceiling and it uh, reduces the fall damage we take so that's pretty handy that's it I just use that now it's just so so cool um, this is the other big thing I've finished the storage area so this is it this is me I'm happy I'm happy with this so this over here is the ores that I've got going so this is the output of the quarry goes up into pneumatic tubes and it'll find the barrel so this is everything that will come out of a quarry then I've got, instead of having deep storage units, I've now got barrels with the extra dimensional upgrades. So they'll hold up to a thousand stacks, which is a bit better. Um, then at the end, I've got this obsidian chest, which I actually forgot to do. I need to move it because what's happening is the lapis has got a 50-50 chance of either going here or into the chest. So I just need to move it over here. So the lapis is guaranteed. This is the, yeah. The item frames are handy, but you kind of, I keep missing the chest. Um pneumatic tube so that's all pretty basic that's kind of shown that before this is an apiarist chest this is for storing bees I'm just throwing them all in here I have no use for them at the moment I'm not actually that interested anymore in getting into them so they're just gonna stay there until I have a use for them over here we've got the blocks so these are the deep storage units that I've got for all the the main the big stuff so like yeah we're up to almost a quarter of a million well over a quarter of a million cobble now then up here we've got block types this is just a general storage and then over here we've got mob drops and these are mobs that I would like to put in the mob trap which you may have spotted which I'll show in a second um, then down here we've got the Zycraft blocks um, the enchanter which I'm just kind of throwing books in every now and again um, it does take a while which is a shame but still pretty handy and then this is just kind of the main storage that I've got going so you know just building blocks materials um, natural stuff this is the pipes and redstone all that kind of thing then I've got the machines just so everything's a bit more separated out and easy to use I've had to create an entirely separate box for miscraft stuff which I definitely want to get into soon definitely want to go into that but in fact while we're here I will demonstrate the wand of equal trade because this is what I wanted to save it for and you'll notice I've got these these um, basil pavers and normally if I wanted to change these into the pavers which I did upstairs I had to go around I had to break all the blocks and then just place down the pavers what I can do here although what I have just noticed is Four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to just quickly um, fill in these because otherwise this won't quite work. Oh, perfect! Look at that. So, actually, I think I already had some. Oh no. Um, but yeah. So, what the wand of equal trade does is basically, if you place down a block, like any block, so I can do it with this. If you shift oops no 
you don't do that you shift right click and it changes you will see the little glowy thing that's above my bar is now changed to a log so if I write if I click on a block it will change it into a log so what I've been doing is if I then throw down a paver um, so this is now going to replace all blocks with pavers I can just go around and bing bing but there's something even cooler basically if I right click it spreads to blocks so it spreads to all blocks of the same kind so there we go that wall is done that's how easy it is it is one of the most useful Com um, combined with stuff like the shovel of the earth mover it is just the most useful building tool ever it's amazing I love it so much I have I've worn two of them down though because if I show you the mob trap the reason I made it was for the mob trap um, and then yeah it just dumps the blocks straight in your inventory so and this is the useful thing I can just throw stuff in there and it's great um, have I got one? I haven't got one set up for logs yet I think because I didn't know how many I was possibly going to be using so let's just put everything back now and I will show you the mob farm the mob farm is actually the reason I wanted to get the wand of equal trade because I wanted to have it on so on like a fixed colour scheme and this would have been an absolute pain to do in any other way but because of because of the um, the wand of equal trade I just went round and zapped the whole thing so it's incredibly basic at the moment I've got three spawners going I have cow, creeper and enderman um, the, I couldn't use the one up the top um, of the volcano basically because I didn't have enough falling space to kill the endermen um, they just survived which I couldn't really do so this is going to be the drops that I use uh, sorry the mob trap I use for farming items and then I'm going to turn the one up there into an XP farm is my idea so what we've got is we've got wireless redstone here and these are um, what's the word receivers yeah receivers so they are currently receiving a redstone signal from... Oh, I took out the levers. Basically, through here, I can't... Actually, I probably can. If I go like this, yeah. So I've got redstone torches here. So these are on normally, which disables the spawners. Um, and then each one of these is a transmitter that then corresponds to the receiver over there. I had to take off the lever to do this, which means I may... I need to move it to somewhere a bit more dedicated but I can kind of demonstrate just by knocking out the torches for getting back if we then go and have a peek you can see we've got everything spawning basically so I don't want to go inside basically because the creepers uh, have blown many a thing up so if we reactivate the spawners we can go in what I want to do, in fact what I made of this episode, is just set up um, a gatherer basically for the drops. So something like the obsidian pipe set up we have up the top um, that will then just grab all of these items. And um, so yeah, that's not bad. Nearly a stack of ender pearls, a stack of beef, half a stack of leather, three quarters of a stack of gunpowder. You know, and that was just from what? six or seven spawns so it's it's very useful I want to add because the beauty of this is I can just add more spawners as I need them because I've got the space so that's no biggie um, but yeah the the drops is kind of because I've, I've got the barrels set up ready for them I just kind of need to um, get like get the system going basically the reason I keep doing this, I'm trying to get a repair book because I want to get repair on these boots of the Traveller, which means as long as I, like, provided I don't die, they won't ever actually run out. So that's pretty handy. Now, yeah, systems of gathering. The Obsidian Pipes one is useful because it's really cheap, but it does take quite a bit of effort 
because you have to set up iron pipes underneath, which is kind of annoying because you've got to funnel the drops to one spot, and that's just it takes a while and the the drops spend a lot of time in the pipes. It's just not the best way. So what I wanted to do was have a look for any other kinds of things that can pick up items off the floor. Um, I seem to remember somewhere, yes, a transposer can do it. Aha! Excellent. So that'll then, that'll then eject into a pipe so we could then send the pipe into a... Uh, I guess we could pipe it up here. Or, actually saying that, we could just use an ender chest. Um, although it would be nice just to have the one tesseract. Okay, let me... So this was transposer. Yeah. Let's go have a check and see how many we're going to need... Oh, this is something else I found. This is added by um, Bibliocraft, and is a tape measure. Net means you never miscount again, so right-click the block, right-click the block. I know, that's nine blocks. Beautiful. Nice and simple. So, that means this is nine by nine, yes? Yeah, so that's nine by nine, so I'm going to need 81, or 80, because I've already got one, so 80 transposers. Oops. So let's look up the recipe. So we need a piston. Oh, okay, that is obscenely cheap. Yeah, I can do that. Well, I say cheap, need 80 pistons, but that's really not a problem for me right now. So, I think what I'm hoping is I've built this above bedrock, because I think I'm above bedrock level, I hope I am. Um... Yeah, we're at level 7, so we've got plenty of room to work underneath. So if we... Oh yeah, I left it open, didn't I? So if we tear this floor up, um, then what we can do... Let me just do it from below. Then we replace these with transposers. We've got plenty of space to do the piping, which is... Um, which is the main space I need. Oh, this fog is lagging me, I think. And I need to reinstall Optifine, because we've um, we've upgraded the mod pack. We're not on 1.5 or anything, but the, the 1.4.7 version got an update, and we're on that now, and it meant I, I need to replace my Optifine, because I'm definitely not getting as good a frame rate as I used to. I think I think we're all right because I'm going to be running pneumatic tubes out of the transposers. I think as long as the there's only one place for them to go, like because the pipes are intelligent, um, they should just find the way, like the items, like it shouldn't actually be a problem um, in that respect. I got 70, 81, yep, so that's all the drops. So let's make... Oh, something in my eye, sorry. Um, let's make some pistons. So we're going to need, let's say, two stacks of iron, stack of red, two stacks of redstone, um... I'm going to need about seven or eight stacks of cobblestone. Um, what else do you need for pistons? Wood. I think I have stupid amounts of jungle logs now. Yes, I do. So that's four stacks of wood. That's fine. Um, I can... Th I'm just looking. I keep looking to see if there's anything I can throw in the system to kind of... Um, to get just sorted into chests, but um, cobblestone. What else did I need? No, that's not right. That's for something else I need to look at. Um, basically, I, if I explain, there's um, I run the quarry, and I'm getting quite a lot of ingots like this. The tin ingots that aren't the same as this, so they don't stack in the barrel. And you can use a unifier basically to convert into. Um, 
into the right kind so I'll just set up a little filter for them I think but I'll do that off camera because that's not going to be very interesting so what do I need transposer oh more cobblestone okay so let's make the pistons first off something I need to look into in this actually is um, actually first off let's make Um, yeah, something I need to look into is it's called um, they're called blueprints. What this slot does is if you make a recipe and create a blueprint for it, you don't like if you th just throw the um, throw the blueprint in. What it'll actually do is just like it will then just throw kind of if like if I go like that, I get the shadow. It'll basically I've got it around the wrong. I always get it around the wrong way. In which case I'm going to need more wood. Oh, wait, no. That's for the transposer, so... Oh, that's getting me confused now. Um, piston. I was right. Okay. Um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. But yeah, uh, blueprints, that was it. So if I make the blueprints, then... Because I make a lot of pistons, I can just put the piston in, put the stuff I need in, and it'll automatically make it so that'll give me another half 64 84 so that's enough I am going to need some more wood in fact I'm going to need another stack of redstone as well that's alright and where's my logs Awesome. Just check on the books. Projectile protection, alright. But let's just store these away. I'm going to need a chest just for books because I'd like to make an enchantment set up. Well, that's the point. I didn't notice that. I'll replace that later as well. Um, I want to create a setup so I can get automatically enchanting books, which would be really, really, really handy. But that we'll have to wait for another day I think and then oh damn I need more coal stone as well another probably another f four or five stacks even five that should do it let's get our transposers so that's one there we go. So that's oh, that's only seventy four. So I need six more. Yeah, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just means I can take all this stuff back out. Not need to worry about it. Making more than I need. Gonna need another stack. Yeah, really getting some bad lag. I did. I I was worrying about like when I had my quarry running at full tilt, the um, the storage system may not be able to keep up, but it seems to run fine. Not keep up, like, but there'd be too much lag from items in the pipes. But it seems to work fine, so no problems there. Let's put. Um, is there anything else I can't just dump in? Pistons, that's it. This is this is this is why I wanted a unified storage room. Just bam, 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 bam. And it all gets filtered for me. It is a thing of beauty. So, let's go whack these transposers down. I wonder if the shovel of the earth mover works on transposers no it won't because I'd have to shift right click in order so let me just check what this around the right way yep so that's going to jet into the bottom so I need it from the top but yeah because if, if I right click oh oh it does work <laughs> oh that's amazing oh I love this thing 
I think this does use durability, but oh, that's so useful! Oh, this is amazing! Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, Thorncraft. Oh, but you know what I think I've done? I think I've put, yeah, I've put some down in here, which I did not want to do. Let's bust you. Um, five, is that going to be two, three, four, no, I'm still short. Why am I still short? Maybe you've done it somewhere else. Okay, so I'm short one. I'm short one transposer. So where's that then? Hmm. Oh. House phone going. Do ignore. <laughs> And that's not going to break the torch, that's good. Hmm, that's curious. I don't know why. I don't know where that transpose has gone. I did pick up the one that it spat out, didn't I? Yeah, I must have done. And I've lost my way out. There it is. Oh, well, I can just go make another one, I guess. Um, I may have miscounted, but... Who knows? And that's not letting me place there. Why is it not? Weird. Anyway, that gives me enough of an idea to get started. I'm not exactly going to lose many drops out of a one out of a one block hole. So I'm going to need some pneumatic. No, not soul sand. I keep trying to jump up to get to it. It's probably not the best way. I'm going to need more pneumatic tubes, aren't I? Have I got any brass? I have lots of brass, excellent. I need to move some crafting benches down here, actually, that would be smart. Um, other way around. Might as well use all up. Why not? So. Um, in fact, no, that's actually kind of handy, because this means I can get in and out of the piping easier. Although, actually, I wonder, can I use a... No, I can't use a hole on that. Uh, well. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera, I think, because this might take me a while, um, just to kind of get it all set up. So, I shall show you when it's all working, I guess. So, see you in a second. Oh. Okay, it's all going. Look at the stuff flowing through. This is so cool. Um, in fact, let's give it a full, full-on trial by fire. Let's give it all three spawners. So I'll give you. Let me just check and see that the gunpowder and stuff starts coming through. There it is. Excellent. I want to run this for a little bit, basically, because there's something I want to check. Um, okay, right, I'm going to... I don't know whether to risk leaving it running and going down, because basically what I need to do is check, because what I've got at the bottom is a diamond chest with an autarkic gate pulling items out. I need to check that that's fast enough. Because if it's not, I have a replacement. I've got something else I can do. But it seems to be keeping up. Right, now let's turn it off and see how long it takes for items to stop coming through because that will be the kicker because this is now no more spawns how many items are now coming through hmm there's quite a bit Uh, yeah, I think I may need to change the system. If we have a quick look. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need to, I need to change the system. Definitely. That's not good enough. Okay. Let's leave that going. I know what I can do. Um, I I was I basically I just didn't know whether because I wasn't sure because I've never really left it running for any decent amount of time. Um, and when I like when I have I've picked up the item so you don't really get as um, as good a sense of where they're coming from. So I get a magmatic engine, redstone energy cell. Still got some charge in it. Um, or something yeah, liquid tesseract. I'm not gonna need you. So what we do is we take off the autarkic gate and put the magmatic engine on like we had on the um what's the word? I have to break you. Like we had on the oh what's the quarry system. In fact, you know what? I need some still. Let's just get this stuff sorted while we're down here. So, energy cell, magmatic engine, liquid tesseract, pump, bada bing, bada boom. That's going to pump out, I think, near as damn it a thousand. Oh, I've left that open. That's no biggie. Call it an access way. Yeah, so that's going to pull out a stack, I think, per um, per kind of pump, and it that will just run infinitely. So no problems there. Let's give it another another go. Bother. Support with item frames. Um, switches. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we shouldn't get as kind of as much as stream anymore, but um, like when stuff gets to building up to a stack, it will come straight out. Is the advantage. So. It should keep up, no worries. So let's turn it off again and just do the double check. Um, well, it's still got a fair few going through it, I have to say. Oh, no, definitely better than last time, though. So, that should work fine. I'm not going to be running it that often anyway, so that's no biggie. Awesome. I think we can call the system, well, not done, but complete. Like, anything else is just going to be extra. Smite. Just one more book in. So yeah, I'm gonna be kind of on the lookout for more um for more stuff. Something I wanna get is an angry zombie spawner. That'll be handy because um the zombie brain's are really useful in Thorncraft, like for warded glass, um and stuff like that. And then was there anything else? A blaze spawner would be useful, but um, it it means I'd have to add in kind of killers because they're not they're not going to die from fall damage is the problem. So I'd have to rig up a separate system, and that's just not really that useful. Like because I've got this, so I may as well just use it. There is um, sorry, uh, Klimmy's got a witch spawner, which would be useful to have because that gives you stuff like redstone, um, and I think they give you water bottles as well. I'm not sure, but there are there are other mobs. I was debating a spider one, 
for the string, but I do now... I found out you can get these things called flax seeds, which grow like normal plants, but they give you string. So that's not really as big a deal anymore either. I don't know, maybe it's just the kind of thing... I'll, I want to get a fourth for definite. Um, that would probably be the angry zombie one. And then an XP one. Maybe I can make the blaze one an XP one. Who knows? But that'll be that'll be another day. So I think next time we'll probably have a work on an enchanting setup for this. Um, that should be that should be fun. Get a lot of books. So let's just finish off the episode with the book enchantment. Maybe we'll hopefully we'll get something good. Come on, I need to check if there's a way to speed this up in any way. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Sharpness. So that's all right. We're gonna get a beast sword. <laughs> like by the time we're done with it, that is for definite. So let's pop these in and call it an episode. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.